In the last part, Aya compromised her position as a police officer in the New York Police Department. In this part, we're gonna go to a museum or something with our partner Daniel. We also saw his kid in the last part. Uh, he's gonna bring the car in front, so I guess it's no business of mine to question the, the details. Not like there's any details to question. We're just gonna get our, on our way to the museum. They mentioned something about going to a museum, learning about mito something. Uh, probably mitochondria. Seems to be a very distinct detail going on. I don't know. Not not important. It's daytime. Oh man. T take in all this fantastic daylight detail. By the way, let's go to the Carnegie Hall. Uh, there's no reason to do such, but might as well. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go there. There's not really a whole lot to it. You never really end up going to any of the places that you went to, but I might as well talk to my fellow cops. Saw you on TV. You're the one from the 17th pre precinct. Uh, yeah, we're the lone survivor. Come back to see the uh, the scene of the crime. Hey, you can't just come barging in here. You ain't getting no special treatment. Hey, I survived. I should be a. I can. I can just get right past you. I can't enter, but I can actually just phase right through you. That that's kind of cool. I can. I can go past your boundary. Uh, I tell you, my holidays are ruined. You know what? I think a lot of people's holidays are ruined. This is pretty big. Uh, day. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Sad Christmas for you and your family. I got it. Sad Christmas for all of us. Small little details that I never think about because the game's pretty linear on an aspect of just go to the museum. It's the new location. But at the same time, I figured I'd cover my bases and go back to the Carnegie Hall because that's where we went to. That's where the game started. Oh, dialogue. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp. Hans Clamp be there uh, that that is some excellent details dr. clomp what's his area of research mitochondria <laughs> well according to the papers he's working on a new theory mitochondria something but it seems to cover a whole genetic spectrum because you know mitochondria biology uh, that's an odd uh, PhD yeah okay biology he's a he's a doctor of biology got it antisocial doesn't even like to waste time outside research. You know what? I get it. I'm an introvert. I don't like walking outside my bedroom door. I got it. Yeah, yeah. There's something. It doesn't matter. A waste of time. Look, he has some idea of what's going on because Eve mentioned something about mitochondria. It's detail that stood out. I gotta go investigate all my all my options. But at the same time, Good lord, this is kind of a stretch when you think about it in the long term of things. Someone mentioned mitochondria, and now we're going to see a doctor about mitochondria. I mean, uh, that's a long stretch. By the way, if I see the chocobo, it's a little, it's a little Easter egg. Just a little one. Just, just the way of saying Square made this game. It's been a while since I visited the museum. You know what? Sounds fantastic. Let's go to the museum. Uh, man, I hear there's a museum in Seattle. I should go visit that now that I think about it. Uh, I guess that's irrelevant because this is New York City. It has nothing to do with Washington or Seattle, uh, despite the fact that's where I live. And also, uh, I'm planning on going to Seattle pretty soon. Uh, also, you got the... Museum security right here. Hey, how you doing? Uh, he, he's okay, but at the same time, he's staying outside. Pretty cold. There's snow everywhere. Uh, it, it's irrelevant. Point is, we gotta go see the doctor who's working here. He's also living here. I guess he's kind of just doing one of two. Can you actually live in a museum? Like, if you have enough, like, I, I guess authority and some sort of researcher enough viability in a research or something do do they just allow this to happen do they act as some sort of night guard security uh oh like overseer person is this something that happens because all the research material is in like right there 
I, I don't actually know. Uh, anyways, I, I guess we could do that, but uh, the guard's going to say, hey, there's a notebook. Do you mind signing in? Just a protocol. Do it. Just protocol. You know, it's 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 all good, baby. I got it. We signed in. Signed it to the register. Everyone knows that we were here. Official police business. Uh, I got I got a lead. I gotta go make sure everything works out. It, I don't know keywords, details. Everyone's got that. If you have a problem with that, I don't know what to say. The game's making us do that. Excuse me, Doctor Clamp. Uh, yeah. Hey, hello, buddy. Uh, mitochondria. Is that your keyword? Oh. No, he hears us. He just doesn't care. Uh, yeah, so, you know, we're the police people. We oversee security. There was some sort of weird pyrokinetic person. They were using ESP or something. Uh, no, we're not accusing you. We just need to know about mitochondria. And apparently I'm having flashbacks, or is having flashbacks. Is that Aya? Aya? I never really understood how to pronounce names. I'm terrible at it, but my point is... Wait a second, that figure and the guy we're talking to. I'm sure there's no connection. <laughs> what are the chances that seeing this guy would trigger a flashback? I mean, sure, it just happened, but I'm sure it's, that's not the reason for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just got a little lightheaded there for a second. Uh, anyways, mitochondria. Does that trigger something? Uh, NYPD, why are you interested in my work? Look, suspect mitochondria, you got it? Now what is that, what is that entail? Do you got any leads, any ideas? We need anything to help us with the, our case. You two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria, true mitochondria? Uh, excuse me, true mitochondria? Are you a conspiracist? Are you telling me that the mitochondria will overthrow the human host and rule and genetic code? And oh my god, this guy's the leader of a cult or something. I don't really know, but my point is we should de we should detain him, arrest him, and throw him into a cell. Uh, and for interrogation purposes, not not like actually arrest. I, I guess that would be violating him on his human rights, you know. The amendments, the constitution, legal systems, legality, really. But my point is, he knows something about the mitochondria. Uh, and it's too much for my brain. But he's talking about the brain functions and how, you know, mitochondria are responsible. Interaction is possible due to the energy of the mitochondria. It, you know, it provides energy. Uh, did you know mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? Oh, my bad. Not volts. V. Which I would assume is volts, but, uh, you know, maybe I have it asked backwards. Uh... I'm not going to say Future Gilm will insert if it means volts or something else, but if he does, there you go. Anyways, uh, yeah, it also has enough heat to combust people. So basically what they're saying is uh, humans burn and melt 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. What he's saying is the mitochondria, if they were all to work in sync together, would be able to make it appear that people would spontaneously combust. And maybe turn into some orangish gelatinous goo. It, it, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, a puddle of fluid. Uh, you know, I guess it's still just speculation. There's no solid proof that this is what he did, even though she had freaky pyrokinetic powers and uh really melissa i guess but at the same time she claimed she was eve uh again it seems like there's some sort of weird spiritual cult thing uh, occult sort of powers uh far far from the human mind understand it's uh oh man cells between the fingers deteriorate that's when the Finger. Oh, you're talking about when people are developing in the womb. Okay, I gotcha. Cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore. It receives a signal to die. 
You know, I, I've heard that if you could crack the human code, you could make them live forever. I heard something about that. I also heard that I don't know how much legitimacy there is to that. But at the same time, it's all speculation, right? Mutant mitochondria multiply energy production levels decreases. Alright, decreases the energy production is associated with the aging process. You know, aging is basically... It, it, it's an illness. It's, a, it's an illness and it makes humans imperfect. That's right, we're all imperfect. Uh, crazy occult shit and mitochondria. You know, I... I if you didn't believe me, if you didn't know, mitochondria is basically his trigger word. And look at all the stuff that's going... Uh, oh man, he's talking about the origin of human life. A single woman in Africa. This finding was annou announced around the world. Uh, to be fair, there is actually an article on Wikipedia talking about mitochondrial Eve. Or mitochondria Eve, I think is what she's referred to. So, there's a little bit of a basis for factual history here. Yeah, mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, incredible. Eve, oh, that's one of my trigger words, don't you understand? We met someone named Eve and she spontaneously combusted a whole bunch of people. What? Hey, if you know something, you better not be holding back. We're gonna detain you, throw you into interrogation room and find out everything you know. Cause that's just how the police force does their job. Unless that's going along the lines of p police brutality, in which case I guess I can't say that, right? Because that's just painting the police in a whole bad light. Oh, uh, he doesn't even care. I guess I guess his rant is over. He just does not care. I hope you guys actually read what was going on, because I, 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 basically all you need to know is uh, it's nighttime. <laughs> Yeah, all you need to know is it's nighttime. Fuck it. Everything that just happened, not important. What's important is now we're going back to the police district. Uh, we got another cutscene, so to speak. Not an FMV one. I mean, those are special. Uh, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You, you know, how long did we spend talking to him? A couple hours? It was daylight before, now it's nighttime? That nah, man, I've seen him before. I can't remember where. But I can't stand his kind. Always oh, talking about mitochondria and being triggered by it. Uh, by the way, it's di oh, I guess we got a uh, got a uh, some sort of signal. It looks like we got a break in the case. What? Okay. All right, we're going back to the station. Going to turbo. Have the sirens blazing. Gonna make magic happen. Find by me. So we're going back to the station, the uh, no Easter egg station. Sadly, only the museum really has an Easter egg with, in the form of Chocobo. Well, you know, I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to end the part here because, uh, you know, we just had a huge plot dump with Dr. Hans Klopp with the, uh, with the mitochondria trigger word. I think it's going to be a trigger word. I think that's just going to be the whole theme of this LP. Hey, hey, hey uh, any news on the case? Hope you'll bag this creek soon. Hate to bump into him on the streets. Aw, oh, <laughs> I know what you're saying. Uh, she is a pretty freaky deaky person. She was playing the piano and she had monster hands come up and it was, it was, it was all sorts of bugs. <laughs>